Hey guys, it's Katie with SMB, and today we're gonna install the new particle separator for the Can-Am X3. So let's get started. You're gonna start by sliding the front passenger seat all the way forward to gain access to the two bolts in the back. And then you're gonna slide the passenger seat back to gain access to the two bolts in the front. After all those nuts and bolts are removed, you can then remove the seat from the vehicle. Now you're gonna remove the stock cover from the vehicle simply by pulling up once it's removed, you'll want to make sure the grommets are still installed on the vehicle. Next, you're going to pull out the CVT pre-filter by lifting up the latch and pulling out. Install the silicone tube sleeve onto the SMB duct adapter, and you'll want to make sure that the groove is lined up with the little notch. Install the silicone tube sleeve into the CVT pre-filter that you had just removed, and then you're going to flip it over to make sure that the lip is all the way on the outside. Next, you're gonna install the CVT pre-filter back into the vehicle, making sure that these three tabs are in their place and then pushing it down to make sure that it locks. To prep the SMB intake cover, we're gonna install the push-in prongs and the screws using some Loctite. Now you're gonna install the SMB air intake cover over the CVT pre-filter and then you're gonna push down to make sure it's fully seated in the grommets. Now we're going to prep the particle separator for install using the provided hardware. We do supply two different size straps, one for the upper bar and one for the lower. We're going to install this one on the lower bar, so we'll use the larger straps. Next, you're going to install the clamp adapter onto both sides of the particle separator. Apply a little bit of Loctite before you tighten them down. Loosely install the straps and the pivot bodies onto the roll cage. Now you're gonna loosely install the L brackets onto the pivot bodies, making sure that this part is facing inwards. Now we're gonna install the particle separator onto the vehicle. The reason why we kept the straps and the L brackets loose is so you can play around with it to see at what height and angle you wanna install it at. Um, it is easier to install with two people, and when you line up the adapter and the L bracket, make sure that the grooves are matching. Now that the particle separator is in place, we're gonna tighten down all the hardware. Now we need to measure how much flex ducting we're gonna use, and the easiest way to do that is to install it on the SMB duct adapter, and then curve it over, over the clean air plenum, and then give yourself an extra inch, but you'll just mark it, and you'll cut all the way around. With the flex duct cut to length, you're then gonna loosely install both end cuffs and the hose clamps. Now you're gonna install the flex duct and make sure that the side with the seal goes into the intake cover. Once you have it installed, you can then tighten down the hose clamps. Now we need to disconnect the negative cable on the battery. And if yours has a battery cover, you'll just pull out these uh, four push rivets and then you can remove it. Uh, this is an aftermarket battery, so it does have two posts and we're just gonna remove both of them. Using a flathead screwdriver, we're just gonna pop out this panel on the passenger side. Removing that panel is gonna give you access to the bus bar and it's gonna be the ground, the positive, and the accessory. And then you're just gonna take your wire harness with the three ring terminals and they're all labeled and just hook them up to their correct post. With the back panel removed, you're gonna see the coil packs on top of the engine and you're just gonna pick one of the orange wires coming out of the coil pack to attach the ignition sensor to. Hey, it's Ryan with SMB. Today we're going to give you a couple tips on the best way to get your ignition sensor installed on an X3. Um, to start, we're going to pop down the cover. And this is a two-seat car, but this will be exactly the same on a four-seat car. And uh, we're on a trailer here, so it's a little tricky to, tricky to maneuver. But you got three coil packs uh, on these X3s, and we're going to be putting the ignition sensor on the most passenger side outbound coil pack. Um, there's two ways you can do this. If you're agile and want to get inside the tire, you can, uh, I'll show you from the other side, you can just pull the connector off right into the wheel well um, and get that clip on the, uh, the wire. If, that, if you need a little more room, 
The ground strap for the connector is right here. Uh, it's a Torx bolt, Torx screw. If you remove this ground strap and then unplug this connector, again, we'll go down the wheel well, I'll show you in a second. This will let you pull the connector further into the wheel well and give you a little more room to work. Um, but definitely you're gonna want to install it on this furthest passenger side coil pack and go through the wheel well um, to do so. You'll just need to pop this cover off if you want that extra room and remove this torque screw right here. So we'll jump into the wheel well. I'll show you how to remove that connector um, and we'll keep going. So this car has already got the ignition sensor installed here, um, but I'll go ahead and take this connector off. There's just a tab on the top that you press on and then once the tab's depressed, you can pull the connector, push in, pull out, push in, kind of wiggle it. There it goes. Okay, so this one's zip tied up, so it's not going to be very free, but you can see here, this gives me enough play to hear. Now this middle wire that I'm holding right here is the ground. It's tight now, so it's a little tricky to pull this whole connector over. Um, but you can see the clips installed on the wire right there, the uh, orange and brown wire. But if you want this connector to come further out, you'll just remove that torque screw on that ground right here. And then this connector will be able to be pulled all the way down to about where my hand is, which gives you a lot more room to put that ignition sensor on, like you can see here. And then once you're done, just press the clip back in until it clicks and then run back into the top side and you'll need to reinstall that ground. Uh, very important that you finish up on that step. With the ignition sensor harness and the main harness installed, we're just gonna route them up back here and then plug them into the control harness. Before you route and zip tie the wire harness, you're gonna wanna reconnect the negative terminals on the battery and just start it up to make sure that the fan works properly. We routed the wire harness um, off camera because it was kind of hard to see, but you just want to keep it away from any hot or moving parts. Now you're just going to connect the harness to the particle separator and then you can reassemble everything and you're good to go. Alright guys, that's the installation of the particle separator on the Can-Am X3. If you have any questions or you just want to know more, you can always give us a call or you can check it out on our website and I'll see you next time.